In an era of ever-increasing worldwide surveillance, the deep web operates as the last bastion of true online privacy. The anonymous nature of the deep web means anybody can post literally anything they want. In other words, there are no rules here, and with no rules comes some of the most unsettling content you could ever hope to find. Number 13. Here's a video that honestly makes me sick if it's real. It starts with a girl sleeping on the floor of a dirty room. A camera has been recording her for the past 13 hours. She has barricaded herself inside and is now faced with a limited amount of food. At one point, she notices the camera and huddles into the middle of the room. Eventually, she makes a sign saying that she has run out of water and pleading with anybody who is watching online for help. She says that she has been left here for days, though she does not give a location. I can't help but wonder if this is one of the infamous red rooms from the deep web. Supposedly, red rooms are where people are systematically destroyed at the command of online sadists who are willing to pay large sums of money. Maybe she barricaded herself in the room, and now her attackers are waiting for her to become too weak from starvation to resist them. The video ends with somebody knocking down her barricade and getting inside. If this is a real red room, they probably began the show shortly thereafter. Number 12. A YouTube channel called Some Ordinary Gamers has well over 100 videos exploring the vast reaches of the deep web. He's casually hopping from site to site when suddenly this twisted image fills his screen. So here we've got what appears to be a woman with her eyes sort of completely blacked out. Some Ordinary Gamers is hesitant about watching this video by himself late at night. With that said, he knows he needs to give the fans what they want and reluctantly presses play. So it seems like we've got music in reverse being played right now for the cameras, so beautiful stuff indeed. My... Wait, wait, hold on. She's saying numbers. It's a numbers station. What the, the girl with blacked out eyes keeps repeating a series of coded sequences over and over again. The video makes no sense and is well over five minutes long. Some ordinary gamers doesn't try to crack the code, but he does have another idea that's just as good. He runs the audio through a program and plays it in reverse. This weird melody is what he finds. <laughs> It could be hackers, the government, or even just a prank to waste people's time. Exactly what it means is anyone's guess, but mysteries like this is what makes the deep web so special, creepy, and weird. Number 11. This possible deep web video was discovered and posted by a YouTube channel called Grizz Overkill. In it, two bizarre looking figures walk forward in jerky, unnatural movements. The first one is dressed like a witch and has long, gnarled limbs and fingers on display. The second one is dressed the same way and is wearing what I hope is a mask and not its real face. Let me know if you recognize these figures from any television or movie series. I would feel a lot better knowing that this is just a film set and not a real video. If this does turn out to be real, then I don't even want to know its location or the surrounding circumstances. Number 10. Love.avi is a haunting deep web video that focuses on a strange relationship between a man wearing a white mask and a clown with a blade. At times, it's almost as if the clown is wordlessly encouraging the man to go out and commit unspeakable acts. I don't know if it's subliminal messages or what, but there's something about this video that makes most people feel uneasy after watching it. There's not even really any jump scares or anything like that. It's just the overall sinister tone. If you detected any hidden messages in this video, or if anything weird happened while you were watching this video, please be sure to let me know. Number 9. 
This deep web video of a creepy ventriloquist doll spinning in circles has been causing a controversy for some time. The lighting looks like it's from a silent film, though I'm not sure it's from a more recent era than that. Some people report feeling dizzy after watching this video for long enough and claim to see the dummy's face change, though that could just be their nerves playing tricks on them. Either way, if you somehow know the origin of this video or what is happening here, then please let me know. Number 8. Etika loads up his encrypted Tor browser and starts live streaming his experience on the deep web. It isn't long before he finds a website that makes his jaw drop. Okay, Dark Mamba is an independent private military company formed by ex-military corps and special forces. We operate worldwide. It's very case by- <gasps> This is a f***ing assassin website. This Apparently, this organization of ex-military officials from around the world are willing to provide a wide variety of services, from snatching people in the middle of the night to outright assassinations. Framing and poisoning people are just two more of their specialties. At the bottom is a short list of rules detailing how and when to pay. Nowhere on this rules list is there a minimum age requirement or any other exemptions, so I guess even children are fair game. There's an email address to contact them, but Aurora wisely decides not to push it that far. It's probably either an FBI trap, or even worse, the real deal. Either way, the last thing you'd want to do is waste a hired assassin's time on the deep web. So he just moves on to the next site without further comment. Number 7 this deep web video features a disembodied head in a skeleton mask hovering over a single candle. He speaks in Spanish and uses a voice changer, but his tone makes it clear that he has only the worst intentions in mind. Unfortunately, other than the general creepy atmosphere of this video, I have no idea what is being said here. Listen to what he says and help me translate if you can. <laughs> <laughs> Something about this makes me think that he is either making a confession or telling us about future plans. Let me know if I am right about this hunch and if you think this video is real. Number 6 this video was reportedly made by an insane person and uploaded onto the deep web as a way to express his condition and somehow communicate with others. This is the first five seconds of the video and it just gets worse from there. The scenes quickly go from creepy landscapes to pictures of crime scene photos and other gruesome depictions that I'm not allowed to show here. The amateur footage in this video looks like it could be real. The audio is nothing but unsettling high-pitched sounds. I notice no indications of subliminal messages, but I wouldn't be surprised if some found their way in there. Number 5 this anxiety-producing deep web video is a collection of strange clips accompanied by multiple layers of creepy audio. After a while, it becomes increasingly demonic and obsessed with black magic imagery as the jarring audio intensifies. The video also contains multiple languages. I think this part, for example, is both Spanish and Russian. Translate this clip if you can and tell me what's going on here. This could just be an art project, but then again, maybe there's something more devious at work here. It's almost as if this video was made in as many different languages as possible to corrupt the greatest number of minds at once. Whatever they are saying, however, I'm not exactly sure. Number 4 a YouTuber named D. Rawit Gee accesses the deep web and looks around for the better part of half an hour. At one point, he comes across a deep web site called Rent-A-Hacker and he starts reading the website out loud. 
The website is run by a hacker who claims to have made a career out of ruining people's lives online. He says the minimum amount he is willing to work for is $230, destroying business websites, obtaining personal information and passwords, and blackmailing people are just three of his specialties. He can even plant CD content on a person's computer to get them in prison for a long time. At the bottom of the site is a menu to buy his services using untraceable Bitcoin transactions. The menu looks like it could be fake, but it's hard to tell for sure. On one hand, I wouldn't be surprised if this entire thing isn't real, and the money just goes into some random person's Bitcoin wallet. Then again, if this person is as good as they say, then I guess it wouldn't be hard for them to contact you after payment to get more information about the job. Number 3. This deep web video is a collection of old horror movie scenes spliced together, most of which I can identify. There's one clip that I don't recognize though. Other people don't recognize this scene either. They even think that a psycho could have spliced a small portion of real video into a horror movie montage. This would be the perfect way to brag about what you've done without making it too obvious. Let me know if you recognize what movie this woman is from, if any. If nobody has seen this before then, as much as I hate to say it, I think this portion might be home video from a genuine psychopath. Number 2. This video was supposedly found on a deep web server under the file name EBE 1992 Iger. EBE is short for Extraterrestrial Biological Entity, and the uploader thinks Iger could be a mountaintop location in Switzerland. Obviously, 1992 refers to the year that this video was made. Anyway, what's especially odd is how the camera person moves around in a hurry as they record still photograph after still photograph of the strange grey alien. I get the impression that they were recording classified evidence from an area that they did not belong in. Before we get to number 1, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. I recently released a small mixtape and I'd love to know what you think of it. Tap the circle icon in the top right corner, then tap my mixtape to give it a listen. It's also linked in the description below. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person, so if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new video I upload every Thursday. Number 1. I have no idea about the date, time, or location of this video. All I know is that it's supposedly been uploaded to the deep web because the original uploader didn't want to be tracked by the federal government in retaliation for getting their story out. A large bright blue object is quietly claiming the night sky outside of an apartment complex. What is this? What is that? After a while, the sky blob stops in place and begins to expand outwards. Whatever it is, by the end of the video, it seems to take up nearly half of the sky. If this is real, then we probably would have never known any of this had ever happened without the anonymous deep web. Whether it's with vicious animals, human psychopaths, or the paranormal realm, none of these encounters would have become famous without the assistance of YouTube.